I'm walking around Bangkok. I arrived literally like five hours ago. I'm so tired, but with jet lag and everything, I can't sleep. It's really weird being back with like my people. Being able to eat my food, the food that I really like. Obviously, when I was in Colombia, I stood out like crazy, but then here, people just kind of leave me alone, and I actually like that. It's also really nice to be walking around without having to worry about safety. And here in Thailand, apparently, there's like pickpockets that happen, but I feel like after living in Colombia for three and a half years, Nothing scares me anymore. I Apparently for a year, weed has been legal in Thailand. To the point where you can even bring it on the airplane with you. I don't think you can bring it on your carry-on, but you can bring it in like your checked-in luggage. And I thought that was wild. There's still a bunch of laws around like doing it in public. There's a lot of signs everywhere saying that you can't smoke like cannabis. It's still like frowned upon, but it's legal. One thing I do miss about Colombia though, is how cheap the weed was. Because the weed here is a little pricey actually, if I'm being honest. We're just gonna walk around. I'm uh, pretty high right now. Scale one to 10, I'm probably at like a seven because I'm really tired too. So what's the best thing to do while you're high? You can get some food, let's go! Yo, you have no idea how good it feels to walk around and nobody notice you because you look just like everybody else. Like if I didn't talk, people would think I was Thai. And there's a bunch of obviously like Europeans and white people here, right? All the people like stare at them. Like I got stared at when I was in Latin America. I get to be like a, an ant on the wall, which, which is kind of nice, especially when I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes to show that loves for dogs is universal. Okay, so I ordered the lotus root juice. I have no idea what it tastes like, but it's it's, mm, it's like a tea. And it's perfectly sweet. Dude, that's fire. Oh my god, I wanna get that again. And I was just realizing like them, how I make my videos is kind of how I am with people. I see all the good things first, right? And then I fall in love very quickly with a place if I really like it. Just like anything, over time, it's loses its luster and then like all of a sudden you see the flaws with it right maybe i'm get too quick into relationships because i see the only goods of the person but i don't give it enough time to see the bads of a person all right here we go moment of truth mm. curry bro with the rice and the spice oh my god excellent very good very good yeah, i changed my mind this shit is so spicy bro but then she asked me if i wanted a little bit not spicy so i think they're gonna make me some without spicy yeah it's too spicy for me thank you when i was in colombia right i wanted to learn the language like i was so obsessed with trying to learn spanish ever since i was a kid it was always a goal of mine here in thailand i don't think i'm gonna take the time to learn the thai language unless i decide to live here forever right so i get to enjoy all these places purely as a tourist so i'm trying the longandu it is so good so refreshing this one's sweeter, so I like this one better. When you go to countries like this, you're gonna notice a lot of people who have been doing the same job for 40 years. When I was in Manizales, I used to think those people were small-minded, but all those people are so necessary in order for the community to work. Like, so the person who does the trash, the person who sell things on the street, the police officers, like, all of those things are required to, to come together to form a community. Yo, I swear there's no greater joy in life than being able to be high and walk in public. String glasses on. Nobody knows. This is the best feeling ever. Oh my god. I might come back to get one of these slippers. That's what everybody seems to be wearing. It is a really amazing thing though because foreigners of all colors, shapes, and sizes can walk around here in peace. There's just something about Latin American culture that makes it very dangerous and violent and they think it's okay to like take from other people. Whereas in other places in the world with other like mentalities, if you look at places like Eastern Europe or Japan or here in Thailand, because we're a homogenous people, it's hard to like take from somebody who looks like you. It's weird because Colombians are very patriotic. They love their country, but they have a saying in Colombia. I'm just quoting it, so don't shoot the messenger. The worst enemy of a Colombian is another Colombian. You're walking around here in Thailand. There are a lot of immigrants from other countries. So Japanese people, Chinese people, a lot of people from India, Bangladesh, the Middle East. You can tell that because of the restaurants that you see. What's the thing that people don't get about marijuana? Weed? is an amplifier. It makes you more of who you are and it connects you to your inner child. And I can also understand how you may get so caught up in that world that you can't face reality. But I think if you're very responsible in your regular everyday life and you occasionally smoke weed, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Look at this, oh my god. This stuff is so beautiful. Holy crap. 
Sorry, I shouldn't cuss. <laughs> so kind of remember a lot of prayers and all the rituals from when I was a kid. Don't forget to donate when you visit places like this so you can support the maintenance of this beautiful temple. Okay, so this is a massive problem. When I'm high, I just like to eat. I just like to munch on a bunch of stuff, especially if it's an indica. So every food that I see on the street, I'm tempted to taste it, even though I shouldn't because I had the fried rice last time already full, but I still want to like try everything, you know? And I feel like I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time here, actually. It's going along with the flow. Why I love like ma and pa shops, feels like they're sharing a part of their home, their tradition, because it's the recipes that have been passed down from that specific family. Nice, that looks like a nice school. Private school, I imagine. I kind of want something sweet right now, like a donut or like a pastry on the sidewalk. Will be really good. I wonder what they got. Ooh, that looks good. That was a 10 out of 10 waffle, bro. That was so freaking good. Oh my god. And with the water, I think the waffle only costs like three bucks. Worth it. But Bangkok, for being a big city with 13 million people, is surprisingly very clean. Look at all the people cleaning up the parks. Look, this being water, they have a sprinkler. People are just chilling, relaxing. Oh my God. Asian practicality at its finest, man. We the real MacGyvers, I swear. <laughs> I'm pretty much retracing my steps. I know that as long as I can get to the temple, I can find my way back. And boom, right ahead, there's a temple. When I travel alone, I use landmarks in order to help me make my way back to wherever I need to go. A lot of people ask me, how do you like find directions in a place where you don't know the language or where to go? Maps are universal no matter which country you're in because they always use colors, they always use numbers. And most of the time, they use English as well. Every country, even in the Asian countries, European countries, and even in Latin America, if there's a second language to put, people will almost always put English. Uh, I'm United States, but I'm, I'm Chinese. Okay, man. Okay, bro. So welcome to Bangkok. This is your dream. Arkansas, Chuka, and SG. Wow. Right, spicy? Not too much, not too much, but yes, I do. One, two. Oh. Oh. Dude, that veggie smells so good. That's exactly how I want it. Clams, vegetable, rice, and a Sprite. And I think all this costs like eight bucks. I love Thai food. I love, love, love Thai food. What do I want? I want something sweet. Ooh, that Oreo ice cream looks good too. I'm thinking about going to more countries where marijuana is legal, smoking, and then just walking through the city and exploring and talking about my thoughts. Let me know if you guys like this kind of content, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.